Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with Google Cloud. My name is Galeb Alhabian, and I'm a Networking Specialist Customer Engineer at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers. How do I configure predictable NAT IPs for certain destinations on the internet? CloudNAT is Google Cloud's proxyless NAT service allowing highly available, scalable, and secure internet access for your workloads. Using the NAT rules feature of CloudNAT, you can configure certain destinations to use dedicated NAT IPs, which then makes all communication to those destinations come from a predictable IP address, regardless of which instance in your VPC or subnet is communicating to those external destinations. This predictable IP address can then be allow listed or used in firewall rules on the destination side. Note that NAT rules are only available for NAT gateways in manual IP allocation mode. To demonstrate how NAT rules work in a simple demo, let's switch to a test consumer instance that I've created. In this example, I've already set up a VM behind a simple NAT gateway with an IP manually allocated. As I'm issuing a curl command to two test servers and a public IP reflection endpoint, Notice how all endpoints see me coming from the same IP address, which is in fact the IP address configured on the NAT gateway at the moment. Both DB1 and DB2 are running a simple IP reflection service that just echoes what NAT IP the consumer instance is using to reach the internet. Let's say the admin of DB1 wants me to come from a predictable IP. One might say that with a standard NAT gateway with manual IP allocation mode, you already have that. But if your internet NAT needs grow, you're forced to keep updating DB1's allow listing rules to reflect your growing pool of IPs, which can be an arduous task. Let's see how the NAT rules feature changes that. I'm going to configure my NAT gateway in Google Cloud Console. Scrolling down to the Cloud NAT Rules section, I'm going to add a new rule to match DB1's IP address. And I'm going to configure that this rule use a special NAT address, in this instance called NAT address 2, that I've pre created. Notice how NAT Rules IP, address, IP addresses are also eligible for draining which allows for a smooth migration off, off and on to NAT addresses for NAT rules. I'll give this NAT rule number 10. And while we're at it, let's actually create a new rule for DB2's IP address as well. And I'll tell this rule to use NAT address 3, which, has, which I've also pre-created. And I'll give this rule number 20. Let's save those changes and switch back to my consumer instance. Now, repeating the same commands, I get different IP addresses for DB1, DB2, but my public IP reflection endpoint is still reporting me coming from the same NAT address as before. Thank you for tuning in. Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud experts.